Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello students I am Vineet Gupta in this video we will be solving a general aptitude question from set theory in fact you can consider this question to be a basics fundamental question so the question let me read out the question for you given two sets x and y x contains the element 1 2 3 and y contains the element 2 3 4 we construct a set z of all possible combination of x upon y of all possible combination of x and upon y so it is given in the question x is numerator and denominator is y the product of what is the question now the product of elements having minimum and maximum so what all values will be there in this set we have to multiply the minimum value and maximum value now here i would like to tell one mistake which students have done some of students done that they started writing all the elements of this set and they they then they found the number so even uh, if they have got the correct answer they have wasted too much time so kaise ka solve karna hai isko so what it is asking minimum and maximum ka multiplication so minimum what is a minimum fraction so minimum fraction is in which numerator is minimum and denominator is maximum this is called as minimum and for maximum what we can comment yes you are right it is reverse where numerator is maximum and denominator is minimum so numerator minimum that means which is the minimum value in this x because numerator belongs to x because numerator belongs to x so minimum value of x is 1 and denominator belongs to y denominator belongs to y so what is the maximum value of denominator which is 4 so minimum value of z is 1 by 4 and for maximum numerator maximum value is 3 and minimum value is 2 So the question is asking multiplication of these two elements. So maximum uh, multiplication of one by four and three by two is three by eight. So answer for this question is three by eight. So here we should understand how to save time also. That is very important for gate examination. I hope this video was useful for you. Please do not forget to like the video and share with your friends. Thank you.